Welcome to students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. Now we're working in this series of videos on the chapter 15 drill problems, the odd numbered problems that were assigned in the study guide. Um, and as an FYI, well, two things. First, I had an email today where, um, you know, I've seen where the student was asking a question about one of the challenge problems in the textbook. And I realized that, you know, you're here in chapter 15, but I, you know, if you've been doing all of the problems in the textbook, you know, they're not all assigned. Only do what's been assigned, and generally they're the odd number problems for the drill problems and the word problems. And then all of the summary practice test problems, you're not, uh, you don't need to do the challenge problems. I mean, you could if you want uh, some extra practice, but you're not, uh, you, you know, you shouldn't be doing all of the problems in the textbook. Um, you just don't have the time to be doing them all. Okay, and that's you know part of the reason why they're not all assigned. <laughs> only, you know, only the odd numbered problems are assigned um, at this point in time. Okay, and the second thing is, um, and in working these problems, I'm not reproducing the tables. So, for the amortization table, you know, 15.1, you know, as we need uh, to get that factor, you uh, need to refer to the table either in your textbook or in the business math handbook. I'm not going to bounce back and forth uh, showing how to use the table because we've done that in previous videos and previous chapters. Um, but I will just be quoting those uh, factors. So when you get to that point in the problem, you know, uh, you know, first of all, you should have worked the problem out, so you should have an idea as to what factor you've used. Um, but if you haven't, you're just following along with the videos. Pause the video uh, and look up the factor and then see if you were correct when you watch the video. Okay, so we're going to move on to the uh, first problem here. Uh, there we go. And let me get my pen. All right, so drill problems 15.1 and 15.3. It says complete the following amortization chart by using table 15.1. All right, so for 15.1, the selling price of the home is 140000 and the down payment is 10,000. So the principal loan amount is the difference between the two or 130,000. Okay, the interest rate is at three and a half and the years are 25 years. So if you look at the, uh, the table 15.1, you'll go, remember the table has the interest across the top and the years down the side. Right. So you're going to be looking for the column that has three and a half percent, and then go down till you see 25, and whatever that cross reference is, that uh, factor. In this particular case, it happens to be 5.01. Okay, you know that's the factor you're going to use. Now remember that's per one thousand dollars. Okay, so if we're um, in order to get the monthly mortgage payment, you know, yes, we're looking at $130,000. Well, since it's per thousand, we're not looking at the last thousand. You just divide that 130,000 by a thousand. So let me do that. You would basically divide by a thousand, okay? Which would give you 130. Or, like you saw me do, you know, I just got rid of those last three the zeros and I have 130. That's the shortcut without me having to do the math. And then you're going to multiply that times the factor of 5.01 and that gives you a monthly payment of $651.30. Okay. 651.30. Okay, and that's all there really is to it. Right. So, uh, 15.3. Same exact thing, 190 minus 50 gives me 40, uh, 140,000. When I look at the table, um, I look under the 7.5% column and go down to 30 years, 35 years, and I see that the uh, factor is uh, 6.39. And so my monthly payment on the 140,000, okay, 
you know, it's just as easy for me to just take drop off the thousands there um, and multiply it by 6.39, and I end up with uh, $894.60. Okay, so that's 8.9460. All right, problem 15-5. Okay, this one says if the interest rate raises rises to 7% in problem 15-2, what is the total, spelled it wrong, total cost of interest? All right. So I reproduced 15-2 here, and we have 90,000 less of $5,000 down payment means our principal loan is 85,000. I mean, we're doing the same thing we did for the last two problems. We're looking up the factor of 30 years um, for five and a half percent, and that comes to 568. Okay, so we take the 85,000. Okay, and we could either divide by a thousand because remember the table is in thousands. In that case, we're just canceling out the thousands here, and we end up with 85, and we multiply by 5.68, and we get a monthly payment of 482.80. So that's 482.80. Now. That was doing problem 5-2, so 15-2, so now we're doing 15-5, and it says if the interest rate rises to 7%, remember the interest rate was only 5.5 in the problem, what is the total cost of the interest? Okay, so um, we have to find the new factor for 7% at 30 years, and that new factor... Um, Let's see here. That new factor, 7% for 30 years, is 6.66. Okay. So we take our 85,000, divide by 1,000. So I just delete the, the thousands there. And I multiply the 85 by 6.66 in order to get a monthly payment of... Um, five hundred and sixty six dollars and ten cents now it's asking us for the total cost of the interest right so remember the total cost is how much we're paying over the life of the loan less our initial uh, principal or loan amount so if I'm um, the life of this loan is 30 years but this payment is in months so I have to take my 30 years and I'm multiplying it by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. That means I have 360 payments. So I multiply the 566 by 360 and that ends up being 203,796 dollars even. Okay. So that's the total that we're paying over the entire life of the loan. And we want to know the amount of the interest. All right. So we have to um, subtract out the $85,000 as our principal amount. And that leaves us with a balance of $118,796 is how much we're paying in interest. Okay. So up here I'm going to write 7% and 118,796. Um, just for fun and giggles, let's do, and just for practice, let's figure out how much it would have been if we were still using the 5.5%, okay? So we know our payment is, four, our monthly payment is 482.80, okay? And we know that we're going to multiply that by 360 monthly payments. So that ends up being 4280 times 360. That ends up being 173,808 dollars. And we're subtracting the 85,000 from it. And that gives us 
$88,808 of interest. Okay. And of course, we can take that even just one more step further and we could say, okay, what's the difference between the two? So if I had 118,796 and I subtracted the 88,808, I would end up with a difference of $29,988. That's the difference between the two, between the 5.5% and, and the 7%. Okay. All right, let's see here. Um, 15-7, all right. Yeah, I can squeeze that in here in this uh, video. Okay, so complete the following. If I have a selling price of 199,000 and a down payment of 40,000, that means my mortgage amount is gonna be 159,000. Um, I'm at 12.5% for 35 years. So when I look at the uh, table and um, uh, and I'm going to have to look at look that up in the business math handbook because you don't have um, twelve. Uh, wait a minute. No, you can look at look it up in the in the textbook. I mean they have twelve and a half percent. That factor is ten point five six. Twelve and a half percent for thirty five years. Okay. So you multiply the 159,000, okay, you divide by 1,000, so the thousands cancel out, so you're left with 159, or you could have just dropped off the thousands, and you multiply that by 10.56, and that gives you a monthly payment of $1,679.04. So 1679.04. Now, we need to know what our interest is. Okay, so remember for our interest, we have, when we're, th we're thinking about interest, we have its principal times rate times time. Okay, so our principal is 159,000 times 12.5% and remember 12 and half percent 12.5 percent in digital form we move the decimal over 0 0.125 okay and for the time um, we're looking at um, 1 over 12 because we're talking about one month okay so when we multiply 159,000 times 0 0.125 times 1, we get big numbers, times 0.125, and we divide that by 12, which means our interest ends up being $1,656.25. So that's 165625. And now I'm going to um, go ahead and pause the video um, and copy this down because I'm going to erase some of this here. Okay, so um, if you're back. Um, we need to know what our principal is, so we take our monthly payment of 1679.04 and we subtract out the 1656.25 and that means our principal amount is $22.79. And so um, now it's asking us what's the balance at the end of the month? Well, let me erase some more here. We had 159,000 as our beginning balance um, of principal, and we paid off $22.79 in principal, and so that means our remaining balance is 158,977.21. Okay, 
So that's the amount of our balance at the end of the month. Right? So that's all there is to it for these drill problems. And the word problems are pretty much going to be the same type of thing. Just a lot of math, but the process is still the same. So I'll see you all in the word problems.